Hey guys, what's up? Happy day one of the intermittent fasting challenge. So I am jumping on here today to chat with you all a little bit about how to get started with intermittent fasting, what it's all about. We're over um, the next few days, we're going to be going through a little bit more about the benefits, what you can and can't have in your fasting period, kind of some of the, like the rules as people like to call them, what it means for you, what it means for your body. So we're going to be diving through that here over the next few days. So I'm super excited for any of you that are participating in this. It's a really good way to just kind of break some plateaus kind of re jumpstart your metabolism and feel really really good without feeling like you constantly need to be eating or having those ups and downs and those hangry moments so intermittent fasting is not anything that you need to change with the style of eating so you don't need to eat high fat low carb you don't need to count your macros um, you can do all of those things but intermittent fasting is literally just a pattern of eating so there's a window where you're fasting or not having anything and there's a window when you're eating and you'll notice that some people do like a 16 and 8 so they that's kind of like the most common where every day of the week they'll do 16 hours of fasting and 8 hour with eating window so for example they'll start around 11 a.m. for their first meal and they will um, will eat till about 7 p.m. and then they won't have anything again until 11 a.m. the next day some people do it where it's every other day so like one day you'll be doing um, intermittent fasting the next day you'll take a break from it and then you'll go back and forth what you can also do is doing like one meal a day so it's like a 23 one so basically you're eating one meal within that hour time frame and you're fasting the rest of the time so that's kind of how intermittent fasting works. I say when you're first getting started with it, just start with the normal 16-8. So start with a period of 16 hours where you're fasting, 8 hours where you're, eat, uh, where you're having that eating window. And now the thing with this is that you can work your way up to it. So this is how I kind of recommend everybody get started with intermittent fasting. That way you're not like feeling hangry, feeling um, like it's a struggle because you want to listen to your hunger cues with this. What sometimes people start to do with intermittent fasting is they're like, oh, well, I can't break my window until 11 a.m. so I'm not going to eat until that time and while yes at first when your body's kind of getting used to it it can be a little bit challenging but you also want to be a little bit intuitive with it where you're listening to your body and learning basically it's trying to teach you of when to eat when you're hungry and when to let your body run on fat for fuel so we are producing ketones in our bodies and letting that kind of happen as we're not eating and giving our digestive system a break so again we're gonna go through benefits over the next couple of days but what I want you guys to do this week and this is actually be really really powerful for you to help you kind of get into um, that fasting mode and so I want you just to start breakfast one hour later so if you normally have breakfast at 7 a.m. I want you to eat breakfast at 8 a.m. and then the next day on Wednesday once you do it at 9 a.m. and then the day after that 10 a.m. and then if you feel like you need like one or two days at 10 a.m. stay at 10 a.m. then work to 11 work to 12 or whatever your eating window is gonna be and then if you normally eat around like six or seven um, try to keep that same time throughout the week and so you can kind of figure out what your eight hour window looks like it might be 10 to 6 it might be 11 to 7 it might be 12 to 8 try to stay into the um, those kind of numbers uh, just because of like circadian rhythms and things like that we want to kind of stay into that late morning early afternoon and then a few hours before we go to bed. So that's all I want you guys to start with so far this week. As we kind of learn more, we start to implement a few different things. Um, and I want you to be able to have your coffee. I'm gonna talk about Bulletproof Coffee and how that works with fasting. But right now, we're just pushing your eating window back by one hour, that is it. So post more questions that you guys have about this challenge in the comments and I will be on throughout the week to answer those and get you guys set up. So thanks for jumping in and all these video videos will also be inside of the membership portal too. So enjoy the rest of your evening and I will chat with you guys tomorrow.